Hey guys, it's Sheila from One Pretty Little Box. I am back with um, a Nomad update. Today is Wednesday. For those who are new, Nomad means one meal a day, and that is actually what I am doing. Um, it's not even necessarily strictly just to lose weight, even though this is a great benefit. I'm gonna put you on pause for just one quick second. Beautiful, sorry. I like to lock the door sometimes when the kids are home and I'm trying to do a very fast video and a one shoot be done. And that's the case this time. Um, and it's very rainy outside, so you're gonna have to excuse the hair because with the humidity, my hair does what it wants. And it is after five, it is almost six o'clock, which means I will be leaving my house very, very soon to go pick up my daughter from drill team practice. Anyway, I have been practicing OMAD for six weeks. This is my six week update. In six weeks, I have lost seven pounds and quite a few inches that my jeans felt so comfortable today straight out of the dryer. I'll take it. You ladies know what I mean. It feels good to put on a pair of jeans and feel good in them again. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, this week has been a learning experience for me. Um, I am learning that um, on Saturday, Sunday, I uh, kind of relaxed a little bit as far as on um, what I was eating. Um, I did that the Sunday prior. <sighs> this week, I don't know. I probably won't. Um, I'm going into spring break. Yes! Going into spring break after um, Friday. And so, we're going to see. I might re be reworking my time schedule for my one meal a day. Even though I enjoy eating dinner with my family, so I doubt that really is going to change. But on Saturday, I want to say Friday too, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I think Friday I at 2 o'clock, uh, when I got home from, no, I was, I got off early on Friday. On Friday, I ate something about 2, 2.30. 2 um, it was a big meal. I did kind of have some nachos later on, kind of in within a four or five hour window, I guess, if you want to say. Um, and I felt great the next morning. I was still down that, that initial seven pound loss, which was wonderful. Saturday, um, we went out, I had to go run a few errands, I had to think, I had to run a few errands. Um, and I was very, just very hungry and done. And so I decided that my big meal of the day would be around two o'clock. And it was, and I enjoyed every bite. Um, I later on, you know, we were up until midnight. Um, and when I woke up on Sunday, I was still oh, down my initial seven pounds. Now Sunday, I didn't even get up to 11, but at, I ate again at eh, 2, 2.30. And then I had dinner and I probably ate a little too much dinner. And so I was back up a little bit. Anyway, today's Wednesday, I'm back on my seven pound loss. I know the next few days are going to be fabulous. Um, ebb and flow, you know, it's like a wave going out and coming back in. That's how life goes. And you have to be flexible enough and not so hardcore that you're miserable. Um, and that is my thought for you. If you are particularly doing OMAD, I, I'd love to know how you're doing. Um, I still consider what I'm doing, um, Oh, mad one meal a day. I might have a little snack around 2 30, 3 o'clock. Not every day. Some days I really am ready. I know that I, my tank is empty and it's okay to do that. And my body has said, Hey, you're doing a great job. So, how are you? How are you doing? Will I continue to do OMAD? Yes. Um, like I said, I'm going into spring break and I'm going into it with the frame of mind that it's any other day. This perfect timing for me to see what happens when I have a lot of free time and I'm not on anyone else's schedule. I'm on my own schedule, which will be a ton of writing, a ton of videos for you guys. This week has been a little low. Um, things are with the weather and my husband home and kids practices and this is just a crazy week. So I haven't had a lot of video time. I have a lot coming up for you. I hope to catch up on those tomorrow. Um, I have one in particular I was going to do today, but I just, it just didn't happen. So that's tomorrow's plan. Um, life is great. I hope that you can say the same thing. For me, life is wonderful. Um, and it's all in how we perceive things. It's our perception. 
um, no matter what hard wall you're coming up against, you got to understand that that wall has got to move sometime. It's not going to stay there forever, especially if you're pressing in. If you're pressing in and constantly pressing in, eventually that wall is going to crumble down and you're going to get to propel forward. You won't just go forward. But if you think, if you're pressing with all your might against a wall over and over and finally this, this wall decides to crumble, you're going to go fast. And that's exactly where I feel like I've come. So I hope that's some encouragement for you, especially if you're struggling. And like I said, leave me a comment below. I'd love to talk, love to chit chat. You guys are doing great um, leaving comments, um, enjoying conversing back and forth with you. I feel like you're my friends and I love that. So until I talk to you next time, remember OMAD video updates are on Wednesdays. Um, <laughs> grocery hauls are on Monday. Those are two pretty steady videos that I do and through the week a lot of it is just some encouragement and inspiration for you. Some crazy stuff every now and then. Sometimes just chit chat. So see you guys later.